welcome back to today's video. Christmas is I think five days away. Let me double check. It is four. So basically I'm going to try to film, edit, and upload this video in one to two days. But anyway, I wanted to film a Christmas makeup look because I think I do one every year. I try to anyway and I'm just a little late to the game this year but I wanted to film a Christmas holiday makeup look and I actually have a different look in mind this year. I want to do something glittery, which I never really do. It's going to be like a silver glitter, I think, with a red lip. Very Christmassy, very festive, and we're just going to do some makeup, okay? That's about it. Let's get on into this look. I need some moisturization today because my skin is dry. I'm going to use a moisturizer. This one is from the brand Formula 10.0.6. I don't understand, okay? I don't understand at all. It's not the best moisturizer in the world, but it's very affordable and I like it. To be honest with you, one of my favorites is Nivea. I'm in a mood today. I'm kind of like going southern, so watch out for that. Oh, <laughs> that was a bit aggressive. Whew. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna do eyes first, so I'm just gonna take this Morphe concealer and use it to prime my eyelids like I always do. Okay, now that my eyelids are primed, I'm gonna use the Tati Beauty Palette. I know, I know. If you're up to date on all the YouTube drama, she's not very liked these days, but this is the only palette that I have that has like this silver glitter in it. So we're gonna use it, drama aside. I'm gonna first take this one, which is just a soft brown transition color, and blend it in my crease. And then what I'm gonna do is just take a little bit of this one right here, and I'm just gonna put this on the outer corner of my eye and blend it up into the crease. Then I'm just gonna go back in with the transition color that I used, the first shade, and blend over all of it. Then what I'm gonna do is lay down this base shade. So I'm gonna pick up this color right here, which is actually really pretty. And I'm just gonna apply this all over my lid. You can wet your brush and this will make it more intense, but since I'm putting glitter over it, I don't really care. I'm covering, <laughs> covering up the camera. And then I think I'm just gonna use my finger to apply this glitter. I've actually never used these glitters in the whole time I've owned this palette. So this will be interesting. All right, then I'm gonna try one more thing. I'm gonna take the same brush that I used and I'm gonna spray my brush and apply the glitter and see what happens. So I definitely like the way it applies better with a little bit of a spray. Um, what I'm gonna do is actually create a little bit of a wing. So I'm gonna take the brown color first. We're gonna create a little wing here, a little baby wing. And you can go really dramatic with this wing. I don't know, we'll see. I usually just like a little, a little baby wing, you know, but we'll see. All right, and then I'm gonna go with the black and put that over top. Okay, basically what I've done at this point is just made the wing a little bit more dramatic and just cleaned it up with a makeup wipe. Now I'm gonna apply some lashes. I have so many lashes that I don't know where they're from, so sue me. Like absolutely just no clue. Ooh, those are fancy. I'm gonna put these on and I'll be right back. Okay, so I have my lashes on. I ended up changing them because those were just too dramatic. I just couldn't commit. And I did my brows. I used the Morphe Micro brow pencil. We're gonna move on to the face, so let me zoom you out. My foundation routine has been a little complex, okay? It's a little bit extra. It's really extra. So what I do, you definitely don't need to do all this, but I do. I'm so annoying. So the first thing I do is put the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter on. I put three stripes on each side of my face and then usually one down the bridge of my nose. Got that, great. And I have two different concealers, just cause why not? First one is the Morphe concealer that I use on my eyelids. I'm running out. Um, I put this under my eyes, and then I put this on any blemishes that I have, which usually are on the lower half of my face. I do this on top of foundation, cause I find that it takes care of the majority, and then I, have, then I just put less foundation on. And then this part's really unnecessary, but I put a little bit of this Kylie concealer concealer on. I just really like putting concealer on in specific areas rather than foundation. I'm just gonna put one foundation on. This is the NARS Weightless Luminous something something something. It's pretty good. It's gonna put this on a flat brush and then blend this all in. So I mean it's not that complicated but for those of you out there that don't wear makeup you're like I know, I get it. You're gonna be fine. This is like my favorite way to do my base. It looks 
I'm gonna set my under eye with the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Powder. Then for my bronzer, I'm gonna use the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. Probably mix these two. I really have no special way of like bronzing. I just kind of put it on and really make sure that I blend it. Also, if the makeup looks uneven, it's because I have a little bit more light coming in right here. So it's gonna look a little lighter on this side. I'm gonna go with another favorite product, which is the Charlotte Tilbury Blush. I'm just gonna put a little bit of this on, right? It looks so much more dramatic over here. And then I'm gonna highlight with one of my current favorite highlighters from KKW. This is the Forever Highlight. All right, now I'm gonna do my lower lash line real quick. I'm just gonna go in with the first shadow that I used that brown in my crease, and I'm gonna put it on my lower lash line. Then with no additional product, I'm gonna take that brush that I used for my eyeliner and just put this really tight, kind of next to my waterline. Something I really like to do is put a little bit of glitter down here. So we're gonna do that. Okay, then for the lip, I wanna go neutral, but since this is Christmas, we're gonna go with a red. Um, I'm gonna use the Kylie lip liner. This is the Jordy lip liner. It was one of her collabs, I think. I'm gonna line my lips with this first, then fill it in with the matching liquid lip, then top it with a gloss from Anastasia. Cool. All right, y'all, I'm a little shook, but I didn't mess it up. Um, I'm gonna fix this hot mess, right? And I'll be right back. That is the end of this video. It's actually, I think my favorite Christmas makeup look that I've ever done. I wouldn't call this look natural by any means, but I think it's really, 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 really pretty. That is the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. I hope you have a wonderful Christmas, holiday season, everything. I hope it's great under the circumstances. And that's about it. If you wanna check out my social media, I'll leave it linked down below. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I really hope to see you in my next one.